Except for Amanda Mitchell in five, four, three. Yo, 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 it's your boy Squirrel, man. Hey, man, this, hey, I'm so happy to do this interview right now because this interview, we, man, hey, I'm just excited to do this interview, man, because hey, I got a legend. I got a legend in the building, man, a, a, a movie producer, a artist, a goddamn a teacher, because he done taught me some shit. I ain't gonna even care. He done taught me some shit. Uh, man, I ain't, man, he just, he just a big figure in Mississippi. It did. You know what I'm sure, saying? Sure. But uh man, go on, you know what I'm saying, put it, put on a uh, camera on my guy, man, pop your shit, man, let him know who you is. Hey, uh, shit, I go by me, is it, bro? And uh a lot of people know me at Lil Mile, uh, Jacktown, bro, Jackson, Jackson, Mississippi, bro, uh, north side of Jackson, but I represent the whole thing, man, from top to bottom, from goddamn it, South Haven back down to Biloxi, bro. Yeah. I read it, I read it, but man, let's get into it, man. What you been up to, bro? Yeah, chilling square. Shit, I uh Man, I like the production. I seen, you know, what you had going on. And uh, like I told you a couple of times, bro, I never really did too many interviews. So for the most part, like, with doing interviews, like, you got, you got to protect your brand. You got to watch what you're doing, the look of it, the question people ask. So I'm not too quick to go sit down and talk to too many people. But, uh, like, I, the content been there. You know what I'm saying? It's there. Like, I think, yeah. you, you know, you, uh, you're doing a good thing in Jackson as far as, you know, uh, Leading the people. I mean, you put out a lot of content, a lot of stuff that goes on around the country, a lot of stuff that goes on in the city, the good, bad, all of it makes up what you're supposed to be doing. You're driving the content towards the other artists also from that. You know what I'm saying? And that's the whole purpose. So that's why I'm here, bro. You know I mean? really, that's man. why I'm here. I like you said that because a lot of people think we just be posting bullshit. Nah, bro. I seen it today where people come in on stuff that you post, but, bro, I, I understand the purpose. And I think you understand the goal. So at the same time, that's why we're here today once again, because it's to drive it towards what we got going on in the city of Jackson and the state of Mississippi and push it towards the other artists who are trying to, uh, you know, take it to the next level. I really, I really, I'm glad y'all heard what he said, because yeah. all that squirrel be posting that bullshit, he nah. a snitch, he yeah. all this, man. Yeah, y'all don't see the gold, but we see the gold, nah, man. we just told him, bro. Like, nah, nah, that ain't that, man. You doing what you supposed to do. It, uh, just like any other blog in America, bro. You you ain't here for a uh, personal relationship. You here for, uh, you know, a pr promotional purpose for the artist, bro, and for the culture. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Ain't, yeah, people look at it. What they don't understand, you got people that's, you know, working nine to fives who come in on a person who, you know, trying to push they, uh, they dream on the side without a nine to five. Or you might be at somebody at home who, who's scared to do what you're doing. Yeah. And they just sit back and just come in on it. So, you know, a lot of times you got to just wave out a lot. We weave out a lot of the uh, commenters, bro, and uh, just keep doing what you're doing because it got to be working, bro. It, it, I mean, it's definitely it's working. Definitely working. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely yeah, working. Yeah, yeah, It ain't got to be working. It's definitely working, bro, so. Man, I'm from Square World TV, bam, man. <laughs> All right, man. Yeah. But so since you said that, what give you your drive, though? Uh, bro, uh, man, just, you know, a lot of times, uh, we kind of, uh, we kind of, you know, we kind of uphold the fact that, you know, we come from nothing or, uh, basically, uh, we don't have much. So, I mean, I, I come from where everybody come from, bro. I ain't no different than anybody else. I come from North Jackson. I don't think my uh, opportunities were no different than your opportunities. So, me in the music business, uh, what gave me my real drive was uh, we didn't have the resources or the finances to push like other artists had in, uh, in bigger cities. So, I was always that guy trying to figure it out without the money. Like, I was trying to read... I was trying to learn from people that I've seen that were being successful in the lane that I was being successful. So, but you know, overall, just my drive is just coming from a city of you know, not really just having opportunities, bro. Like you know, or coming from a family that didn't, yeah. you know, that didn't really have much. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that's my drive alone, just to be able to be financially free or either you know be able to pour knowledge into somebody else, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I read it. So check this out. You know, we, we both from Jackson, you know, the opportunity to smile here. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, you trying to, you done, you done, you done built, I ain't gonna say you done built it, but you done find ways to do it without money. Right. And so tell, tell me this, like how life in Jackson for you, you know what I'm saying? We, we know how it is, but let the people know how life is in Jackson, trying to be on a level 
that the other states is. I ain't going to say they're trying to be on the, the level that other states is, but, like, on a higher level than what you are, I mean, what you came up on. You well, know what I'm saying? Like, your advance and stuff like that. Uh, how it is, I mean, it's challenging, first off. I mean, because, uh, like I said, we have limited resources. But at the same time, as a state, as a city, we got to understand that the population is only about 180,000. So how do we define success from that? So, I mean, you got to think about it. You got to do a certain amount of streams or a certain amount of sales to even reach a certain amount of uh, revenue. So you got to think about it. Do you even have that many people in your city to just be successful off your city? Oh, a lot yeah. of the people have it. A lot of people like Memphis who got 900,000 or, or Dallas who got all the people, millions and millions of people in the metropolitan area, they can, you know, become popular in their city and gain that whole, yeah. you know, area. Yeah. You know, you're going to travel from one high school to, uh, to another college. To, you know, it, everything travels in that area. So you got more people to play with versus you, you got a uh, uh, – you got people like, uh, for example, you got a lot of people in in in, in, in Jackson. There's to me, it's a, you know locally successful, but it's not the same as being locally successful in California. Yeah, you know what I'm saying it's not the same as being locally successful in, in Atlanta. You know what I mean? If you locally successful in Atlanta, you can live off that. Locally successful in Jackson, I mean, you know, you still got to do a, a few more things. You know what I mean? So, hey, so people got to understand that we. As a city, we don't even really have a population to reach the amount of success that we think. You know what I'm saying? So you got to use what we got here as a as a foundation to push more, mm -hmm. push further, if that makes sense. So when you accumulate people or fans or, or followers in Jackson, you got to use those same fans to push further in other cities like Canton, the surrounding areas, and hope that it push up to Memphis and uh, uh, Vicksburg and hope that it push past Monroe. So, uh and so on. So, I mean, people got to understand that you can't just be uh, content once you got the whole West Jackson listening to you or the whole Shady Oats. I mean, you know, that's not really enough. You know what yeah. I mean? It's only a certain many people in those areas that got debit cards. Or it's only certain, <laughs> certain, certain yeah. nah, nah, for real. Yeah. It's only right, certain though, that's people smart. in them areas that got, you know, that actually has, you know, digital currency. So, a lot of these people are going, uh, streaming this stuff from free sites. You know what I'm saying? So, we're not in the area like that. So you got you got you got a lot of people that's uh like Detroit for instance. Detroit is predominantly black, but it's uh, surrounded so much around it with other cultures. Like uh uh we got other cultures uh surrounded us, but they haven't really bought into I think what we have going on. We still kinda uh separated far as that go. Mm -hmm. But but in other places they have bought into that. So they're able to, you know, reap the benefits right there and they are solely in their area. You got people in Detroit that I never heard nobody listen to in Jackson yet, and they successful. They millionaires. That's crazy. They millionaires. So you know, I mean, I I'm, I can't say they millionaire, but they're they're they're, they're successful. musically yeah. successful. Yeah, yeah. they musically successful. So we got to keep that in mind. Like you know, we in a uh, city that don't really, and I think a lot of artists, you know, kind of pass through here and just you know use it as like a stepping stool, a uh, stepping, you know, to go to another, but you know, and that's what they're supposed to do. So, but us as an artist or us as a city, we got to see what they're doing and analyze that and be able to, uh, you know, duplicate the same stuff they're doing, you know what I'm saying? Move around, you know? Yeah. You know, that basically is square. Oh, really, man. Boy, you broke this shit down real yeah. good. I swear to God, you yeah. broke this shit down real good. But check this out. How did you do, nah, basically, do you feel like you a successful artist in Mississippi? Uh, or you still, nah, or or like nah, what it is? Nah, nah, I don't feel like I'm a successful artist. I feel like I'm a successful person. And success is not defined financially. It's, you know, I define it as far as like mental knowledge, like where I'm at mentally in life. Uh, but majority of my uh, revenue didn't come off of uh, being an artist. I made a lot from being an artist. I made a lot from being an artist. Uh, Man, I, I managed Joker. I rapped with Joker. We we traveled the whole, you know, country two or three times. You know, seventy five hundred, twelve thousand dollars a show. He been from Alaska to Florida. You know, my homeboy D Gaines. He been with me since day one. Like, you know, we we pulled up in every city. You know what I'm saying? White, black, Hispanic, and whatever. We went and did that. You know, along with you know other artists that you know I'd uh, work with. So, but at the same time, now I don't, I don't. Well, not I, I would say I'm musically successful because I feel like I had a knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I don't feel like I'm in a blind. So I feel like you're unsuccessful if you're in the blind. You you being led. Like I'm not 
you know, can't nobody call me with a contract or something like that. Now, I'm not one of them type of guys. So a lot of them guys that sitting at home waiting on the phone call, I'm not one of them. Like, I, I never been one of them. I actually came in the game as, like, uh, on the business side. Like, I actually didn't even like my raps, bro. Like, a lot of people liked my music because of who I was. Like, they like they bought into me. You know what I'm saying? I never felt like I was better than no other rapper. Like, it's, I can see it name 20 people in my city that I feel like is 10 times better. That's why I work with them. Yeah. Like, I don't really work with it like I, unless I feel like you either on my level or better. You know what I'm saying? So, if you're on a song with me, I feel like you're better. You know what I mean? I'm just being honest with you. Like, that's just the type of people that I, you know, like to, you know, align myself with. I don't, you know what I'm saying? But I'm that don't mean it might be people that I wouldn't work with because I don't feel like that. But I'm just saying that would kind of, uh, that's what I gravitate to, people that I be like, oh, shit. That nigga, they're going hard. Uh, he really putting... Uh, putting work in. Yeah, yeah, he really yeah. putting the work into it. Not even just the work in the streets, but uh, when he go in the booth, he taking his time. He's not going in there just high and saying the first thing coming in mind. These, these people actually structuring they sales. You yeah. got King Mali. All these dudes, man, these dudes ain't, they ain't playing, bro. Like, I was playing with my homeboy the, the game probably like a month or two ago, and I was just freestyling. And he kind of said some shit, and he now he gonna know that it stuck with me. But I was freestyling, and when I got through freestyling, he laughed. He said, bro, I don't rap like that no more. And I said, man, you know, I looked at my lad. I was like, you're right, bro. But I thought about it because I was really freestyling. And I was like how we rapped in 2006. And I thought about it. Look at these dudes rapping like they wrote this shit now. You know what I'm saying? So, shit, you can't be on here playing around. You know what I'm saying? And talking about no freestyling. You got dudes that's really freestyling. And it sounds like a summer shit nigga would have yeah. told a nigga to write a whole month to write. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, now nah, time changing, bro. And I'm, I'm proud of that, bro. Like, you know, to be able to see that. Already, yeah, I'm shit. Here to be able to see it's a blessing, G. Already, but check this out, man. You mentioned Joker. You know what I'm saying? How y'all link? You know what I'm saying? I ain't know you managed them. Yeah, what's uh, up? Me and Joker, uh, <coughs> we met we met through a, a, a mutual friend girl. Her name uh, Brittany Quick, if I'm not mistaken. She went to Richland High or something like that. Uh, I was throwing parties uh, with T Money at World Famous. That was out South Jackson and. Uh, she just kept coming to me and telling me she wanted to introduce somebody to me. She wanted them to perform at the uh, at, at the couple of parties or whatnot. And uh, I kept on really, I, I seen them a few more times and uh, like not in person, but indirectly, like uh, I think online or something like that. And then uh, he reached out. Uh, he reached out. I I don't know how it actually went, but we we went. It was between. Uh, it was through a girl named Brittany Quick that went to Richland High. And uh, when we linked, bro, he pulled up in the neighborhood, and uh, we kind of linked the first day. Uh, I was in the room on the computer, bro. I had a desktop, and uh, I was on there. And uh, he got on there, he got on MySpace, and he logged in, and he was on there talking to Soldier Boy. And I had just got home from work. I was, uh, I was working at Home Depot. And uh, I seen him in there talking to Soldier Boy, and Soldier Boy basically tell him, hey, bro, uh, you inspired me, woo, 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 you know what I'm saying? I'm just checking it out. I, I don't know what he did to inspire him. You know, I was curious at the time. And at the time, I, uh, I had a lot going on. I was in and out the room doing other stuff, and he was still sitting there on the computer. I'm just, you know, being a little nosy. And even when he left, he, he left his shit open. It was, I was still looking at it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I seen that, and I was like, damn. I, I looked into why, you know, Soldier Boy felt inspired, and I was like, you know, kind of he got some flow you know what i mean and then we end up going to the studio or whatnot but to be honest with you we didn't we didn't really do too much rap and uh we we kicked out like a friendship bro just wanted to pull up hang out he you know we vibe from the door like yeah. bro, just want to chill in the hood so it went from there to like bro you want to go to the a with me real quick i need to go out here and record so now i'm in the back seat and i'm watching because like i say i'm i always like a business man from the door like bro I came in with my own team club with T Money, so I, I really want like rap was like something that you know if you know if I can do it, I can do it. People like it, they like it, but I was really on some business shit. So when I started riding back and forth with him, I was looking at what was going on. I'm saying like, damn, bro, uh, you know, you signed? Like, how did that work? Like, how you get signed? Like, how did that? You something? Like, did you have to have your mama? Like, I'm I'm curious. You know what I mean? And at the same time, you know, stuff started taking off. Like, the numbers were there. More and more people started to contact. So I was just trying to be curious on, like, how is this working? I ain't never seen no real promotion. I ain't never seen the shit that we were. People, shit I seen coming up in Jackson, like, 
uh, when the people before me, like the Benz and all them, yeah. like them people had banners and posters up every goddamn where. Like, you know <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying? Like these people on the radio, like I ain't hear none of that from Joe. Like it just, you know. So I was trying to figure out what did they do different than these guys? Because what we, what I'm seeing is ten times bigger. But I don't see no real promo the way that I saw. It. Yeah. But what to explain that to you? We came out in the transition area, so 2008, 2007, the record, the, the record bit, the uh, music business was shutting down because they couldn't figure out what was going on. You had Kazai, Bear Share, and all the uh, software that was stealing all the music. So the music business shut down, and they didn't know what the, uh, they didn't know how to monetize. So for two or three years, it was dead. So, but that was the transition from you seeing niggas out hanging up posters at stores. Mm-hmm. Niggas got to learn this internet now. Yeah, they got yeah, so up. We came up in that area. So that's why a lot of people are able to get on their phones and laugh at me wearing big ass clothes and shit because <laughs> I came up when YouTube yeah. came out. Like I was a part of the birth of YouTube, to be honest with you. Got Joker Soldier Boy. It wasn't nothing else before that. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing before that. You know what I'm saying? That Soldier Boy was the biggest thing on the internet. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes we woke up, shit, we were the biggest on it. Thing on the internet, we were trending. Joker Trending, dropped this yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, Joker dropped this shit, bro. And then charted like fifteen, on, you know what I'm saying on the, on Apple. Like, shit, I was like, anytime we drop, I, I trended. Spinner really, we trended. These people were paying us, like, you know, they, they put our music on their site. On Twitter, we trended. You know what I'm saying? Like, you'll see our name on, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so could that because we were the first of that kind? Though I tell people all the time, Square, when I drop live Shadow Five. Square didn't have Spinnerilla on his phone. You know what I'm saying? I dropped it on Spinnerilla. You didn't have it on your phone. Can nobody in Jackson have Spinnerilla on their nah. phone? I had to make the whole Jackson download the app and then download my project. Now, when you got people like, uh, uh, you got people in the city, uh, you got everybody in the city, my, all my people, both Bob B, uh, anybody you name, all the artists, when they drop. They don't have to do that. You know what I'm saying? They just tell people, hey, go get my music. I had to make them download the app. So what if you ain't know how to download it? What if you ain't have a phone that had it? Yeah. Now everybody got YouTube. When you first watched my video on YouTube, you didn't have a YouTube account. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no. Everybody got a YouTube. Everybody got a YouTube account now. They had it. So, you know what I'm saying? So I had to, not to say that in a, you know, a cocky way, but I had to pay the way, bro. You know what I'm mean? saying? Like, I didn't yeah. have nobody before me that had to go through what I had to go yeah. through. So I didn't have nobody that I can, you know, be like, how did that How did that go? You know what I mean? I didn't have that, bro. But, you know, it was people that I, you know, took a liking to how they move, and I sit back, and I was like, okay. Watch, yeah. yeah, nah, yeah, for sure. Nah, for sure. There's a lot of people, bro. Uh, a lot of people from Benz, Boo, Kamikaze, a lot yeah. of Charlie Braxton. There's a lot of people that I, you know, I idolize as far as the way they move, the way they think, so. Now, for sure, it ain't just, you know, all mild thinking, but I was able to not be a selfish thinking person and be able to put everything in one package, bro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, so, but check this out, man. You, 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 basically, you done dabbed in how you came up. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Basically, you done dabbed in how you came up now that since you done got done with music, I ain't going to say you done with music, mm-hmm. but your feet big in this movie stuff now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, how did you, how, how did you transition from, Music into movies. Uh, man, I ain't know uh how I'm gonna say that. I'm not a uh, I'm definitely not a re- religious person, but I'm a spiritual person. So I do believe in the saying like, when one door closed, God, you know, open another door. Yeah, I was sitting in a spot that I ain't had to have no business in, bro. Like I'd have been in spots a thousand times that I don't have no business in, you know. But I'm always thinking. Cause I know I'm bigger than it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I know I'm bigger than the people that, and I'm not bigger than people that's in the room. I know I'm thinking bigger than them. I know they in the vid- room playing video games. They in the room. He might be over there smoking. He might, and I might be doing the same thing, but I'm thinking. I'm in my phone making no shit like that. So I'm sitting on, I'm sitting on watching, uh, I'm not watching nothing. I'm sitting there doing what I'm doing. And I'm watching, uh, people come in and out the house that I was in just chilling. And they had a movie on the TV, Murder Pain 211. Yeah. And, Everybody was coming in, I was like, damn, y'all on this shit? Damn, y'all on this shit? Like, I'm looking at the TV like, I don't even know what they talking about. But everybody like, yeah, we been on it. I'm just watching them, watching them. Like, so I'm looking at the TV. Like, damn, y'all think this, son? 
You know what I mean? And you know, Murder Payne paid the way for me in this shit. Like, you know, he indirectly, you know, that's why I even got into this. But I'm looking at the TV like, I can do that. That ain't nothing. You know what I mean? Who they shoot that with? You know what I mean? So let's see how much. I hit them up, emailed them. I think they told me like 10000 I was like, okay, cool. We got that. We can do that. They pulled up. They like, you got a script. I was like, no, nah, I don't even know how to do that. So I started. I had to get a script, all that. So uh, I hit up Chris Lofton. Uh, Chris Lofton, he playing a, uh, Chris playing a, uh, something, everything. Shit, uh, how, uh, all that. It's a long list of shit, Chris. Yeah. From, from here. And uh, so I play on all 50 cent shit. And we've been cool friends for probably about, about a little over 10 years. Uh, he got a, un- a cousin, uh, Charles, Space Age, on Northside Drive. Yeah. Char- Charles Lofton. That's his uncle. That's his cousin. So uh, I hit Chris up, and I was like, uh, bro, I need a script. Like, I'm, I, these people finna shoot me a move for 10000 bro. Like, damn, that's so cheap. Like, all yeah. I need is the script. He was like, bam. He was like, I'm going to put you in touch with a couple of people. He was like, you got the move. I was like, yeah, it's in my head. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I just want to tell it to him, and they script it. He was like, you know, bam. I'm not knowing how that works. You know yeah. That, that don't <laughs> even sound right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So he hit me back. He was like, bro, I, I finally got somebody to work with you. They gonna, they want like five, six thousand. I'm like, damn, that's almost how much the move is going to cost. Like, so I thought about it. I thought about it. Chris ain't never scripted a movie before, so. Or he never shot a movie. He just been acting. So I had to thought, of, thought about it. Like, what I'm trying to do, he never did that before. You know what I'm saying? And I got on Google, bro, and found out how to script this shit myself. <laughs> yeah. And he told me a couple apps, Celtics and all that. He pointed me in the right direction. And that's when I figured out, like, I was asking him something that he ain't never even thought about yet because you got a lot of two things. You got an artist and you got CEOs. You got actors. You got executive producers. You know what I'm saying? So I really wasn't trying to be an actor, bro. Like, I ain't want to, I don't like being in front of the camera. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, it's cool, but I was really in crosses and double crosses because. People didn't really believe. I was having a hard time getting people to pull up, but not double crosses. People started to believe in, but crosses I couldn't. You know, people you shooting a movie, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, how you shooting a movie? Like, how is that gonna look? You know what I mean? Yeah. So, and I respect that. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people hit me up now, and that's you know what I'm saying. It might be square. Like, hey, you want to do an interview? And I'm sitting there like, how that, how that gonna look? You know what I'm saying? How that's gonna? How you gonna portray me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, how yeah. Like, yeah. So I'm like that. Now, you yeah. know what I'm mean? saying? So, and a lot of them didn't even care about how I'm going to portray them because they're not even real people when it comes to far as no acting or shit. It was just the fact that, you know, how you shooting a movie? How you yeah. shooting a movie? Yeah. yeah. You ain't never, sh- you know, let yeah. me see it first. You know what I mean? Yeah. So when I shot that, then you got a lot of people that, are, okay, we want to be in in that. So, uh, back to just what made me get in. And when they seen that, when I seen that on the TV, I hit them up. Came up with the move. We sat down. Um, they came down to Jackson. I ended up spending way more than ten thousand. <laughs> I think the first move we spent probably eighty to ninety, a hundred thousand. Ain't no way. Yeah, we spent that. Uh, cause I mean we had a lot of stop and uh starts. Uh, I had a hotel room. You got to think about. It. I had like ten, fifteen actors in hotel rooms. Damn. Food every day. I was paying for that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, me and my homeboy. Uh, Beans, yeah, we we both went fifty fifty. We spent like a hundred thousand on that, bro. Ooh, but yeah. it's a thing. A lot of people be so curious, you know. A lot of people, especially where we from, crab in the bucket. It be a lot of pocket watch. Yeah, you know what I'm saying a lot of people think that you know, might think this, might think oh they spent the hundred. So woo woo. When we shot that movie, bro, we didn't know we were gonna make a dime. So I made everybody sign papers, like you know, I don't, you know what I'm saying, y'all, because they came for opportunities, and I'm looking for a new opportunity. Yeah, I don't want to be. Uh, I don't want to be committed to have to pay somebody and I ain't made shit, bro. Yeah. So we got our first check, bro. And like I said, we spent like a hundred thousand. Our first check was fifty thousand. I was like, shit, I ain't never seen a fifty dollar check before. 
So I'm like, cool, I'm smiling. I ain't tell nobody yet. I'm keeping quiet. I told Parkway man. And then, you know what I'm saying? The next check came in. Another 50000 I'm like, okay. You got your money back. I got my money back. Yeah. The next check came in. I put everybody 1500 Everybody that was in the movie. All the main characters. 1500 They didn't expect for shit. And it was around Christmas time. Yeah. Five days before Christmas. 1500 for everybody. You know what I mean? I Googled that. I think that's what Chris Tucker got paid on his first movie. His movie made about $100 million. I didn't make but half a million. But two big get half, and your aggregator get half. So for people that don't know what an aggregator is, that's your distributor. You know what I mean? So they get half, and the platform get half. So you on Amazon, Amazon get 50%. So if I made $600,000, $500,000, you do the math. I'm back down to what I spent. Yeah. But... That's another avenue. I see I see light now. Yeah, you see light now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I see another way to make money and also spread what we got going on in the city. Yeah. Yeah, I see that the whole world watched it. Man, we did over 100 million streams, bro. That shit dope, 100 million you don't stream, lie. bro. 100 million streams. Crosses did over 100 million streams. I ain't even really saying the real numbers, bro, but yeah. they did real, you know what I mean? Like, for real, bro. Like, the second one did about double crosses did about half of it. A little yeah. over half of it did. Shit. But I think so many people were just waiting on Cross It, bro. It was just crazy. Bro. Yeah. And then the way it ended, you know what I'm saying? It kind of. tune, yeah. yeah. Made everybody tune in for the next yeah. one. Yeah. So, yeah. But, uh, nah, that was, that's just one door closing and another door opening, bro. But, you know, music I always my passion, but uh, I kind of take a liking into the film. I, I went to school for it. And when I, when I seen that I like, took a liking in it, when I started shooting the next movie, I, uh, I got a lot of people that was uh, off. You got Film Hub. You got all these different sites yeah. that you able to hire people where they just come, people that, uh, you know, expertise in that field. Yeah. And they come and work just for, you know, the food, bro. And uh, I hired a lot of people on the double crosses that actually knew what they're doing. A lot of them was like uh, Iranian and, you know, different uh, backgrounds. And I was trying to direct and, and tell them my vision. But I wasn't saying the right words. I was saying, like, the wrong. I didn't have the language together. Yeah, the language, yeah. So after I was saying what I was saying, I see them same people walk off of me and get in the huddle and, like, talk. And I'm like, damn, why I'm not over there? Like, yeah. Why I'm still not talking? But they over there translating in better terms. And I was like, nah, man. I need a little kind so of brush. Yeah, so I need to learn the language. I need to know the 50, the 25, the cameras, the lens, the breakdown, everything. You know what I mean? And then, like, my homeboy, I got a couple of homeboys from Walt, the gangs. All them guys keep me kind of brushed up on, you know, you know, the whole breakdown of just camera packaging, uh, uh, yeah. just everything, bro, shooting. Like, all these guys around me, they been in the way before me. So once they seen that I took a liking in the man, they they been pushing me and helping me every step of the way, bro. Like, so I really got a team that it really just not me. So, you know. Yeah. I mean, that's a big boost as well, bro. I really have a big support team around me that kind of help, you know, I'll, every step of the way. Man, that's what's up on God. You got to have a team in this shit. Yeah. Like, them, man, you ain't going to go nowhere without no team nah, on God. Yeah, no, nah, bro. But check this out, man. How you feel about putting, like, when you you put all the, like, your people in your movies, your actors, they mm -hmm. come from the city. Mm hmm Man, that shit love, man. Yeah, like, how you yeah. feel about that shit? Like, you don't reach out to nobody in no other state, no none of that. You might got some big names in it, but right. at the same time, your main character is somebody from the city. Yeah, I, you know I, what I'm saying? I like, just shot a whole movie with, uh, with Charleston White, bro, in Dallas, Texas. We just we shot that. We shot it in like ten days. Yeah, and uh, franchise the main character, and uh, uh, I don't even think I told franchise, bro, but uh, we started like an Instagram page. And my whole goal was to just work with people out of town. I want to see how my effect or my impact on people that don't even know me. Yeah. Uh, like, just have, you know, let's see if it's real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, man, just driving down there, going to the cast. I never had a casting call in Jackson because I already knew I was going to choose my friends or people that I fuck with or people that I want to fuck with, regardless if they can act or not. Yeah. So I didn't never have a casting call for nothing because my whole purpose was to push my people whether they want to be, if they want to be a part, Party, come on. Yeah. yeah, so there wasn't no need for a casting call. So when I got to Dallas, man, it was like 200 people lined up outside. So I'm in, in the rain. And so I'm like, shit, bro. So uh, on the way there, I was looking on the Instagram page that we had uh created for the Dallas area. 
for the movie called Wrong Crosses. And the franchise had hit it up. And I was like, damn, bro, that my homeboy. Like, you know, and me looking, and I was like, that's franchise. So I didn't, I still ain't said that to him to the day. But I was like, shit, that's it. You don't, I don't even know how he act, how he, and he act better than every, down to everybody out of yeah, work. Yeah, them little clips we saying, like, yeah, that boy acting. He, act, he, he, he <laughs> act better than everybody down there I work with just about. And uh, I didn't know how he was going to act. All I knew that if you really going to get your ass to Dallas and work, then come on. So he when he hit you, he came to Dallas? He didn't even, uh, he hit the Instagram. I didn't hit him back through the Instagram. Yeah. I just, I think I hit I hit him up directly or I went through Doran, uh, Doran and Jacksonian Media. Yeah. I, uh, I think either, either of the two, but once I seen it, I, I, my whole thing is now, if you can get to Dallas and be here on the days that I need you here, then you're a main character because that's still my whole purpose. Yes, but to sit down, yeah, on. to shine the light. You know what I'm saying? To shine the light, and I ain't gonna say, I hate to say that word, put the city on, cause I, 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 uh, I feel like there's like a, more like a competition thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like to say you. shine light shine on the on the yeah, state. I, yeah, yeah, I like yeah, to say yeah. shine light, cause put the city on. Like man, it's so many ways and so many people that can do that, bro. You got so yeah. many people that really putting on for the city. Yeah, so I never want to be the guy that you know that say no shit like that, but shine the light like. Push it, push the energy back towards, you know, Mississippi. So shit, franchise, bro. Franchise, a hell of a goddamn rapper, bro. So anything that I can do, like a lot of people be hitting me up on management, and I get, I, I, it's good I get to say that here. I don't want to manage nobody or nothing, or nothing like shit like that, bro. Like, I'm, that's what thank you about. Thank you, nigga. I appreciate it. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? That's what you say at the end of shit. Thank yeah. You. you know what I'm saying? That's what that meant. I don't, I'm not into managing, but at the same time. Ask me, and I'm here. Like, you DM me. Uh, if you got my number, ask me. It's cool. Yeah. The same thing that somebody else going to charge you for or want a percentage for, it's free right here. That's if you are my, in my variety, you know what I'm saying? In my yeah, variety, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like you yeah, said, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, especially if I take a liking into you. Me and uh, you at Hershey Black Studio or Air Slim, Markel, that's my little cousin. Like, I'm I'm pulling up at them, you know what I'm saying? Anything that I can offer to what's going on, I'm there. Yeah. yeah, I remember I didn't have it. I didn't have nobody that was, you know, that, you know. Uh, show you. Yeah, basically. I didn't have yeah, that, bro. Now, that, yeah. I, like I said, I can go back. I idolize. No, I would not even say idolize. I like the way a lot of the guys move. Like a lot of the artists, like I said earlier, from being Boo and, and, and Kamikaze and a lot yeah. of those guys. But I didn't have no personal relationship with them guys. Like they didn't know me. Like I uh, I got out here and, you know, uh, I got out here and, you know, not even necessarily made a name for myself. I paid my due. Yeah. You know, when I say pay my due, not like made a name for yourself. Like anybody can make a name for themselves. Like it's easy. You can put that motherfucker on Instagram <laughs> and, 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 and put an blow ad up. Put yeah. A, yeah. I paid my dues, meaning I got money with all of these club owners. When I pull up at the club, I still pay to get in. Like I pay because I know they got bills. I do bending with the club on. I do splits. I uh 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 like people that do clothing lines. I I support them. You know what I'm saying? Like I spent bro, uh residual. He seen your post that I was coming up here. And he yeah. He DM me. He like bro, I got an outfit for this show. You know what I'm saying? For you come up there. I said bet. You know what I'm saying? That's probably why I was like 20 minutes late. I went and grabbed the outfit. But when I grabbed it, I still went in my pocket and I paid him. Because I appreciate your kind of gesture, and I understand that we need money in circulation for all of us to keep floating. Yeah, that's why when Square doing shit, Square tell me he don't want a dollar. I still send twelve, twenty dollars, twenty five, thirty dollars. Yeah, he don't want. You tell me every time, bro, I don't want that. But for all of us to keep going, you get you need money. You gotta, yeah, you gotta you keep need it, money yeah. circulating. Yeah, you need money. All of us run in the same world from people that do hair. Nails, lashes, music, whatever you do, clothing line, podcast, it's all in the same, it's in the same culture line. So <clears throat> for all of us to be successful, you have to spend money with each other. I'm not pulling up in no club with no ten thousand dollar chain chain on or no fifteen. And then want to get in for free. Now you, you, you gotta right about push that. people out, wait on this nigga, wait on now. Nah, I'm gonna go in my pocket, bro. Because tonight I feel like I want to enjoy myself. So I want to enjoy myself like a boss. Not calling myself a boss. I want to act yeah. like, feel like one. So I'm not finna sit at the door and call Ricky. 
Right, you right about this shit. I ain't bro. take no God. shower to call no nigga to wait on no nigga <laughs> to come to no dope. But, but we got to understand that, bro. Like, yeah. yeah, like in order for Richard to be successful, in order for this club owner or in order for this person clothing line, this one free, he had to spend something to make that. Uh, really? I don't know if be, I don't know if the dude sell this or sell that on the side. All I know is he doing something positive and legal, and he need money to money continue to, to make it. Up, so up. when I go in my pocket, I gave him sixty five, sixty dollars, or whatever. But I know that's probably enough for him to make that outfit again and sell it to somebody else. Yeah, yeah, that's all it's about, Square. Man, that's what's up, on God, man. You, you ain't said nothing but a thing on that, cause a lot of motherfuckers want shit for free. Nah, you dude, know what I'm saying? Nah, ain't nothing free, G. Like, nah, man, ain't nothing free, bro. Nah, <laughs> but check this out, man. How you feel? How you feel about uh, every time I done did a podcast? Most of, most of the artists done came up here. They done spoke highly of you, and everybody saying mm-hmm. you, you this and you that. You done looked out and like how you yeah. feel about that? Man, that shit bigger than money, bro. Yeah, that shit bigger than money, bro. Like, man, I know. Let me say that I can count you twenty niggas that got way more money than me and Jackson. I ain't heard now one of them niggas come on and say their name yet. Bigger than money. Oh, we. <laughs> oh, <Ooh>, we. <laughs> now you said some shit with that one, boy. Oh, we on everything. So you, you so basically, people, people, uh, basically, they'll probably. I done gave, you. I gave people shirt off my back, squirrel. For real. I, you name them, bro. Like, I, I only like name dropping, bro, but it's yeah. been people in the city that. From all over. I done pulled up. They were, like, everything. Like, all the artists. Like, I take a liking into artists because I know what they come from. I'm an artist. I was an artist. I'm still yeah. an artist. So, I know I'd have sit in that living room and cried because I, I had to make a decision between studio time and rent. I had to split the rent with my girl to do studio time. Yeah. I had to, you know what I'm saying? I had to make sacrifices just to be an artist. Some people don't see that. Sometimes we only see the outside. So I be knowing what people go through. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like a lot of people don't understand it. Are they? You know they laughing on the outside. That's why you don't never see me in comments, bro. I'm not a comment. I don't like to comment because you never know what a nigga going through, bro. Going through. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't comment on nobody's page or nothing because they ain't never been up. me, bro. Like I don't. Not even yeah. on no negativity or I don't even like putting negative stuff on the internet. Like I had to grow out of that, bro. Like I be telling people out of town, be posting on rest in peace stuff. Like, I, I, I come from that, but I'm saying, like, I had to grow out of that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You leave some stuff you leave off the internet. The internet is something. It's it's cool to be social. It's cool to to, to have your moments and, and let it all out. Don't yeah. get me wrong. I'm just telling you as a person what I had to come to. Like, pieces within self, man. It ain't in no no phone, man. You got to put that shit down when it, you know what I mean? But I'm I'm, I'm not saying I'm, I'm one of the ones sit on the all day and, yeah. I'm addicted just like everybody else addicted, but I ain't addicted to exploring myself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, All I got right. self-value, you know what I mean? All right. But before we get out of here, we got to talk about thank you. Yeah. Like, what's behind thank you, man? Like, you, you spoke on a little bit of, you know what I'm saying, just from a minute ago, you spoke on a little bit of, but what's behind thank you, man? Uh, man, Live from Shady 06. Uh, it's a series that I've been, I've been, I started on when I was like 19, 20. 21 sonar were up in there and uh I just didn't man, it's just a series that I feel like, you know, it kind of followed me as a as a person, as an artist, as a business man, and, and just really keeping my st- updating people where I am in, in life, bro. Uh I put out five and I felt like, you know, I was shit, 25, 24 years old when I put that project out. So I wanted people to hear me, you know, at the age I'm at now, you know, with a little bit more maturity. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I'm still, t- you know, talking a little shit on there, but at the same time, if you really listen, like, you can tell that, you know. The maturity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you know, that's just what I, you know, want to, I ain't going to say lead the people on, because I ain't going to just say I'm done with music. That's just not, I, I don't want to be viewed as a, a music artist and no shit like that. Like, I feel like, you know. You bigger than that. I'm better than it. Oh, you better than that. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. want to be saying that shit no more, bro. Like, you know, I don't want to be telling my business. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, I don't want to be telling my business, man. That shit, it kind of get, once you get older, it becomes stupid. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'm going to keep telling y'all that I'm doing this and doing that and doing that and fucking with this person and, fuck, and that and just, you know, at the, at the end of the day, if I'm really, really doing it. Yeah, so. 
Oh, it's gonna come back. It's gonna bite you in the head. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nah, <laughs> yeah. So I don't like you know, and then uh, tongue is powerful, bro. A lot of times you speak shit into existence, and and that's how I really look at myself as an artist. Like I started out, even though I didn't. People heard me first when I was like 20, 21, 22, but I was like, I was rapping when I was like 10, you know, uh, on computers and tapes, cassettes and shit like that. I came up with uh, like monetary records. That's one of my uh, cousins. He had a company. Yeah. And so like, when you rapping at 12, 13, how much of that stuff you rapping about is really real? You know what I'm saying? Unless you Bow Wow rapping or something like that. But, it, you know, I'm from the hood, so I was rapping about shit I seen other hood people doing. Yeah, I didn't even know how to drive a car, so I'm saying that to say this: powerful. The tongue is powerful. You speak a lot of stuff into existence. So all the stuff that I was talking about from 13 to 16, 17, you know, I was going to school, but now it became because you're speaking on, you keep on speaking on, you yeah. keep on speaking on, you keep you say Candyman three. T- they say, you know what I mean? Yeah, so that's why I feel like you know. That shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. that shit, man. Yeah. You keep speaking on that shit, that shit, man. Just come, you motherfucker, you right? Way. If you say, "Hey, I'm finna go be a law, a lawyer," and you keep on you saying keep you're gonna be a lawyer, yeah. you keep on saying you're gonna be a yeah. lawyer, and you still do everything, you follow all the stuff that I follow to be what I supposed to be. Yeah, you, know, you would have been you gonna a lawyer. be a lawyer. I really, man. You came and spoke some shit today, boy. I swear to God, boy. Cause, hey, like I said, we I ain't gonna lie, man. The artists in the city, the people in the city behind, we behind. We behind and we need the people that from that then I've been on the outside right. and I've seen this right. and that the teacher. But I am gonna say there too, Square. I I feel like I feel like in, in some areas we are behind and uh but I'm gonna say this. Man, this shit uh this shit is it, getting bigger, man. Like yeah. I, nah, you got niggas like Akeem Ali. Dear, back when I, when I keep on saying, like, back when I was, like, I'm dead old. I'm just saying, like, when I was rapping, rapping, bro, like, it wasn't nobody. It wasn't nobody, yeah. Little C, Joker. Yup. Mm-hmm. Recognition. Man, you got people that making money now, bro. They, I'm talking about when they making money, you got 10, 15 people in Mississippi that can make 6,500, 7,500 off streaming every month. Yeah. That's more than a nurse or a doctor, bro. So I don't think we're behind. I think, you know, and that's because of social media, though. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're able to reach people that, you know, that's not in their area. Yeah. So you know, these people paying bills. So you got 10, 15 artists that making it, that, that can spread to other artists. Yeah. And, and and that money will end up falling over and pouring over into the city and to other stuff, supporting the, the entertainment. That way you got artists that getting 20, 30 down the show. Now he's going to come perform at Trio or Deco. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now I think I think we we getting there. I, I think really see, that, hey, like I he think said, we we, we 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 getting up, but we nah. it's slowly coming, yeah, but we yeah, getting up. It's slowly, but I think we definitely, definitely, definitely gonna be. Yeah. I really, I really, man. Like I said, I'm glad you came through. This, yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Drop some knowledge, cause you drop some knowledge. I learned some shit today. I ain't yeah, gonna care. Yeah, I ain't right. gonna care. I learned some yeah, shit today. Yeah. But uh, man, before you leave, man, let the world know anything about you that they don't know about you, man, or they, they that you want them to know about you. Hey. Live from Shadow Six on iTunes. Wrong Cross is on the uh no, nah, not wrong cross. But I said wrong cross. That <laughs> wrong address on the way with charged and white. I know a lot of people to be like, damn, that man, you know what I'm saying? I'd be I had to deal with that uh part of it. But uh yeah. uh wrong a- address on the way with charged and white. Check out double crosses, uh crosses on Amazon Prime, triple crosses on the way. Shit, that's it, square. Know too much there to tell the people besides that. I read yeah, yeah. <laughs> I read but man, like I said, man, appreciate you for coming through, man. You a legend. I'm letting you know nah, right nah, now. Nah, I'm nah, giving your flowers, it. man. You a legend and you a legend yeah, in the silk. Appreciate Give me your flower that, right that, now, that bro. For me. Square world, man. man. You got you getting your flower yeah, for me, yeah, my yeah. dog. Nah, square man, it's a privilege to come through, my nigga. <laughs> I feel like I was real comfortable. And shit, that's you know, that's I the feel goal, like we man. touched everything that we need to touch, you know. Shit, shout out to Mississippi, bro. Shout out to Square World TV. Hey, we in there. Hey, he just did the end. The end. He just ended. He just ended, y'all. That's it. <laughs>